Running a business in a remote area of PNG comes with its unique challenges. For Betty Higgins, the sustainability of her lodge and trout farm, located 2,800 meters above sea level, hinges on her ingenuity. I've been here 37 years and trying to develop this place has been a very big challenge. Uh, infrastructure road is not the best in Papua New Guinea and bridges, with bad bridges, don't, don't, they don't help at all uh, running and conducting a business like this in a remote area. I'm doing agritourism here and I move vegetables, I move fish and I move tourists. And the government of the day um, looks like they don't have any vision for this country. Higgins emphasized that they have been stuck for many years because of government neglect. Adding PNG has been independent for over four decades, yet its rural areas remain severely underdeveloped. I've been doing it with great difficulty, with no support. Uh, I mean, I don't want money to people to help me feel sorry for me and help me with money, but I like them to do the roads up and I like them to see the uh, do the bridges set up and so we can commute and we can conduct business and we can survive just the same as everybody else in the country. Many a time tourists are forced to wait until the river subsides before they cross to Betty's Lodge. I've been thinking about it for so long and I never make money so this time this year I managed to make a little bit of money. I done a trout training course so I had a little bit of surplus money so I put 50,000 can have that money down into that bridge and we build that bridge. With the help of Kumura Foundation, a bridge was constructed and is set to be commissioned in a few weeks' time. And I'd like to share this to the governments of Papua New Guinea. You can build this kind of cheap bridges around the country and make it easy access for people living in the remote areas. If government continues neglecting, many people from the rural areas will drift back into the urban areas and then government will have a big problem. If you're a member of parliament out there, think, oh, what can I do for my people? What can I do for these people that got this river, this little river? I can do this. If one woman, one little woman in Mount William can do it, so can all of you can do it.